Koi lovers! Welcome to Koi Pond Freak channel, if you first time on this channel don't forget to subscribe! And today we talk about Gasiki Koi! Gasiki was created in 1918 by breeding Asagi with Kohaku Koi. Translation of Gasiki is 5 colors and this Koi truly shows a rainbow of colors. The black, blue, and gray colors appear in a reticulation, or a netted pattern across the white and red and Kohaku-like body. Unlike the Kohaku, you will find a very bright and bold high plate on this koi. Research indicates that the temperature of the pond will affect the color intensity. For instance, in cooler water, the pale background will become darker, and then light up again when the water temperature increases. The usual sank and Kohaku pattern will be preferred due to their high markings, which shouldn't be too big since a lot of its appeal can be found in the background. Gasiki used to be included in the Karamono group. However, with recent production of fairly excellent Gasiki, they are now being treated as an independent variety at Nishikigoi shows, and sometimes compete along with the Koromo group. Some scales of Asagi may also appear in the red markings. The meshes appearing only on the white ground will, on the other hand, contrast strikingly with mesh less red patches. Old Style Gasiki An old style Gasiki is heavy and dark reticulation on its scales, and it may also appear on the scales of the high pattern. Often an old style Gasiki will turn quite dark over time and may eventually look like a dark gray koi with vivid red markings. New style Gasiki The new style Gasiki have predominantly more white base showing with light gray reticulation on the scales, and little or no reticulation on the high pattern. It will have a bright almost fluorescent high pattern. A good Gasiki a good Gasiki should have a clean fishnet pattern with no specks or black spots thrown in to disrupt the fishnet look. The neon red or orange as described above should be thick, and have good clean and crisp edges to the high plate. You don't want to see any holes in that high plate, but it is okay at times that the black fishnet pattern show through the high plate. This is dependent on the age of the fish as to whether it is a detriment or not. As they mature the high plate should and usually does thicken with time and the fishnet pattern will no longer show through. The degree of thickening of the high plate is a distinctive trait of the Gasiki. However, in all this, the Gasiki can be a very unstable fish when speaking of color development. It is not uncommon that many Gasiki end up losing that high plate altogether. If that happens you are left with quite an ugly fish. The risks however are worth the reward if they develop properly. They are simply stunning to see. This is the end. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Go to the channel page and see more koi variety. Thank you. See you. Bebe koi lovers.